Hi there, today we're going to talk about dyeing human hair wigs. This is a hair piece I had and you have two options. There's temporary hair dye or there's permanent hair dye. I already tried to use a temporary um, kind of non-bleaching type which toned down the red a little bit but it just was not enough. So this time we're going to go for the real deal permanent hair dye. You can pick this up from Sally's or any beauty supply store. Um, this is a color 3 in which is a neutral cocoa color and um, I already had some developer and you can get 20 or 40 percent volume I use the 20. You will need a bowl, you will need some gloves to protect your hands and then you will need shampoo and conditioner you want to make sure that you're using a bowl that is not made out of metal and you want to read your instructions on your box. This color is a dark brown and there's two ounces of the color dye so I'm going to mix equal parts of developer and dye. So two ounces or one-fourth of a cup of the 20% developer. Um, you want to make sure that you're using things that you're not going to use again in your kitchen. So. Um, be wary of that. And you will find that the lid of your color developer has a sharp point on the inside that you just turn around to pierce the foil that has sealed it. And it does smell kind of, you know, chemically, so make sure you're doing it in a ventilated area. And you'll notice that I have a dark brown, but the color coming out right now is kind of a blonde golden color. Over the next few minutes it will darken so don't worry about the color in the beginning. And you can do this in a bowl for wigs or hair pieces or you can do it in an applicator bottle or even an old water bottle and you just shake it up instead of stirring. But since I'm not applying it to someone's actual head it's much easier just to dip my whole hair piece into this bowl. And you want to make sure that it's mixed very well. And here is the hair piece. And I'm going to just kind of dab it starting at the roots and working my way down. And you want to um, make sure that you really get it in between and on all the layers of the hair and that there's not a spot that you miss. And if it ends up being a little too thick, you can add a, a little bit more developer or a little bit of conditioner to make a more thin consistency. Um, I ended up doing that right at the end, but I didn't film it. So you want to pretty quickly work it down through the hair and make sure that it, get e that it gets evenly coated. You can see the inside part where I put in a extension clip and I've also sewn in a weft of additional hair at the back. I will make a video of how I do that, but I had tried wearing it when it was kind of the toned down red and it just wasn't um, blending in with my hair. So we'll come back to that part in the next video. So I went ahead and jumped ahead a bit, like a minute or so. And by the time you are done distributing your hair color, you should start to see um, it is darkening a little bit and not have that blonde color. So once we're done, we're just going to leave this in the bowl and cover it with a little bit of plastic. And um, we'll check on it every 10 minutes or so and usually it takes 30 to 40 minutes depending on your package instructions. So I've been checking on it periodically and you can see that it is much darker and it's been about 30 minutes and it is done so we're gonna go ahead and make sure we're wearing our gloves and take this over to the sink and wash it in some warm water and shampoo and then warm water and conditioner. So here are the final results. Um, you can see a little bit of my own hair 
in the bun area because mine has a tiny bit of pink red temporary hair color in but everything you see not pinned up is the hair piece and you can see it came out a very rich dark dark brown and it's got kind of a warm chocolate shade to it there is a little bit of my hair peeking out in the very front that kind of fluffy cotton candy bit and then right at the edges by my temples but everything else is the hair piece and it matches my hair pretty well I have to say let me just reiterate that this only works on human hair wigs it does not work on synthetic wigs don't ruin a synthetic wig um, and if you have any questions or comments um, please leave me a note and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching bye